his second loss because he's going to be staying in. Wow, okay. New York sticking with Pine as we go towards Dorado here. And Dallas, a little bit of momentum built up in that last match. A yeah. win here would send us to Lijiang Tower. And we saw Dorado this week already from the side of the Dallas Fuel. And what did they do, Doa? They ran Doomfist. Yep. They ran Doomfist on attack. They ran Doomfist on defense. <laughs> it was a lot of Doomfist. I don't think they're going to do that again. But we can hope. We, uh, we can always we, hope. We can hope, Doomfist. but not expect, <laughs> you know? Temper your expectations in the Doomfist department. And it seems like with Pine here, we'll probably head back to a Widowmaker point A defense on Dorado first up for the New York Excelsior. And that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the Widowmaker will be effective against the side of the Fuel because they, they're not going to be putting a lot of back pressure on there. Remember that if Genji's going to be played with Effect and Taimu in the roster, it is going to be Effect playing the Genji. All right. Well. That was one of the reasons why Effect was brought to this team uh, in the first place, was that his Genji play was also really good. We haven't seen that a lot from uh, Effect over the months, you know, when he was on Envious and now in Overwatch League, but you never know. He's got the ability to pull it out. Gonna start things off on Tracer, though, this time. Yeah, I am, I'm very curious what we're going to see from the Fuel. They did run Widow Genji defense, though, on their last point, and... Oh, that's a crazy stat about the New York players actually on this map. The lo some of the lowest death rates in the league for these guys. And so, quite the struggle for Dallas as they attack here. We'll see what they can do. Flanking coming around the side already as they send out Effect and Taimu. All right, so pretty standard poke composition attack here with the Soldier and the Tracer. Meanwhile, the question is who is going to deal with Pine? Effect? It's going to have a hard time as they get into the market on point A, yeah. and Effect is on the far back high ground. They don't have a far, and they don't have a Genji, so who is going to handle the Widowmaker? Well, time is already back high there. ground early, too. Ooh, a little bit of shots onto Jonak here. So they're at least going to push the payload through that choke, or get it to the choke, anyway. Taimu trying to be very sneaky here on this on this uh, soldier. I almost said McCree. It's Taimu. It's, it's a default. <laughs> it is. No, it's going to be soldier this time. And they're playing it very slow. Notice yeah. Chips is already 45% ahead when it comes to the Valk charge. Conversely, Libero is the one who's been dealing the damage. So it's a race between the Riptire and the Valkyrie right now. Yep. They're waiting for the early Valk. That's going to be the trigger for the Dallas Fuel. Oh, they've nearly got it. Chips is going to have it in just a second here. And then will they be able to capitalize? That's the question here. here Coco go. goes in in anticipation of that Mercy ultimate. He goes down, but at least they've got Vincent Rezes. There we go. Can they catch ships though? No, not quite. And they're going to push forward. Yeah, somebody's got to get on that payload. Taimu backs off. Harry Hook does go down though. Pine with the shots. You got to worry about that Widowmaker. Mecco though, zoned out, taking a lot of damage. Mano taken out by FX Pulse Bomb. And have they done enough here maybe to push it? If they can get rid of Mecco, they may have just done that. But here comes a Riptire. Okay, that's a D-Mech onto Mickey. And so New York striking back a bit here. And yeah, looks like they will hold. So, now if you're Dallas, do you switch things up? Do you take Taimu off that soldier? See, the problem, though, with running these slow-burning attacks is that if they fail, and the New York Excelsior knew exactly how to make that fail. They knew that there was going to be no pressure on Widow. Everybody else falls back into a building, and there's no there's no pressure. Basically, it's just the front line standing there, killing the tanks. They don't have a hook this time, like they shut this down on Anubis, but they still have the right strategy. They know exactly what the Dallas Fuel are doing. And now Ark is going to be coming back with a Valkyrie of his own. And pretty much. Coco really low again, has to dive out. Oh, brought back in by the Halt. He's in trouble. Can't contribute anything until he gets those heals. There we go, and Pine! Contributing with a shot there, Rez comes in. Taimu taken out by Libero though, so they've already lost a few people here. And New York gonna go in. They've got the advantage in numbers, and just nobody has been able to touch Pine at all. And because of this, easy shots. Another kill on the Harry Hook. They gotta do something about this Widowmaker. Uh, the only thing they can do is try and take a Widow duel, unfortunately. I think that's the reality of this scenario. Uh, but it's been magnificently played in terms of positioning by New York. They know exactly what the strategy is from the Dallas Fuel. Yeah. And they've 
burned almost all of the time off the clock right now, and it's gonna have to be an epic push here. Oh, there we There's go. That's a good start. Both DPS are down. Yeah, found him with the pulse bomb. Now Mecco has to use that self-destruct, but Dallas coming out ahead a little bit here. The Valks are gonna change things, though, as people come back to life. Coco batting around the members of New York, tries to get onto Jonak in the back lines. Can he get the kill here? The heals are so big for Mercy. Coco can't finish him off, but he has zoned out the supports, and that's going to allow Dallas to push forward. That was a bit cocky by New York. Doa Pine yep. was pushed very far forward instead of the safe positioning he had had up until that point. And they overextend, and look at that effect. How clutch has this guy been for the Dallas Fuel? He comes through again. Now let's watch that one again. Gets a pulse bomb here. Sees Pine bouncing off, gets the stick down, kills both the DPS, so both of the reses have to go immediately. If you're Pine, I don't know why you'd ever drop off that high ground. That was they extremely cocky. They Seriously. thought they were going to full hold, is, is the answer. And, and a big positional error after what was an exceptional defense that was already in progress. But Effect, he's so great at finding oh. these openings. He's going to find another one. No. Oh, did not stick the pulse bomb. Came close. Then he gets trapped, taken down by Jonak. And the payload's going to halt as New York jumps in. Taimu on the Widowmaker now. Now he wants the duel. See if he can handle it. Shots on to Mecco. Coco's here. He's going to be coming around the side, providing a little bit of cover for him. Wants to help deal with Libero. I would not want to be in the hallway with a junk rat. Yeah, I think they're. that's what they believe as well. So they're going to rotate around back towards the street. All right, Riptire incoming. Time is looking for it. Oh, but he finds Pine instead. Maybe uh, Widow can just throw her voice. Make yourself sound like a junk rat. There you go. <laughs> it was Widowmaker all along. Grip Tire does eventually find Chip's eye and Dallas will have to back away. It's a good flank though. You you know they're gonna be distracted looking for that rip tire, so instead you make a peek on the backside of the payload and punish someone who may not be scoped in your direction. Yep. Alright, New York with a pretty strong high ground position right now. Effect is in the back, as you can see. They know he's there now on the back side of the courthouse because he was firing. Pine wants to take this duel. He's going to force the rewind, actually, Whoa. but he's going to die. Libero. Oh, Libero interrupting the sacred duel between DPSs. Coco, meanwhile, coming in with that primal rage into the back, tries to go after Pine. Pine's on the run. He's got Coco and Effect after him. Yeah, out of the frying pan, into the fire, and I should say into the lightning gun as Coco finishes him off. Mecco, DMEC now. It's a fight going Dallas's way. And that jo Jonak pops a Transcendence, actually. They know they've got the Resurrections from Ark, so I guess they're going to try to use it to keep people up. And it's working for now. Mickey did get taken down. Jonak cornered in the courthouse. Yep. And that's a death sentence, unfortunately, for him. Well, they threw the book at him. They threw the uh, the giant mech at him, I guess. <laughs> effect, ta uh, effect taken down, too. So New York on the verge of holding. Ten seconds left. Here for Dallas to get back on there and there without their Winston. Somebody needs to touch the payload here, but I don't know if Mickey can get there in time. Charging in, barely Taimu. gets there. He falls to Jonak. Oh, that's OT. And yep, Taimu down. Jonak finds that headshot. And they're trying to keep Mickey on the payload here, but New York in a great spot to hold this one. Oh, that's self-destruct. He's got a Winston shield over it, but they're gonna need more. They're gonna need picks. And those picks are coming in for New York in a hurry. Pine gets both supports, and that will be it. So, Dallas only able to push that payload halfway through point B. That's a rough attack for them. It is. And again, at the end, it's Jonak. One more time with the pick. Taimu had to come around the backside of the courthouse and was looking to snipe someone off. And while Jonak was coming in from spawn, yeah. he punished him because he was scoped in at a different angle. Well, here's the end of that uh, push and Pine again finding both supports here. I think this is the issue, Doa. You look at some of these maps with the longer sight line and who's punishing Pine? This is where you get back into the Dallas Fuel's hero pool problems because they just don't have the Genji, they don't have the dive to put pressure on and it nearly resulted in a full hold on A and in that last fight again with everybody having to be on the payload, yep. Pine could just stand there and take all the shots he wants. And so Dallas pretty much has to bank on a full hold on point A here if they want to force it to the fifth map tiebreaker on Lijiang Tower. New York Excelsior in a great position to win this series. I wonder if they're going to go for any 
Doomfist here on defense. They oh, did no. use it on A defense previously. Looks like the answer is going to be no. Not today. Effect on the McCree instead. So back to a pick composition. Running with the, the hook from the Roadhog, as well as the Flashbang and the Trap. And that should be good against New York because they are showing us the early indications of wanting to go with the dive. I mean, you just go back to what worked on Oasis, right? I mean, Coco sets up the hooks and Mickey delivers. Yeah, then, try for then, that full hold and try yeah. to play around that choke. Maybe you can get a pick up here at the start of things. We'll see if New York is going to change it. Change their composition at all. Oh, they're going for it now. So the dive with Libero on that Genji. Question is, is Libero going to switch to Farah? We'll see. My ultimate is charging. Wouldn't be the worst thing, but you still do need to worry about the McCree a little bit. Instead, Libero is going for a long flank. So he is wall jumping his way all the way around the backside now. And he will be in the rear of the market. He's going to find Fine. Taimu. Taimu is <laughs> looking for him. He's like, where's that Genji? Thought he was sneaky, but no. Taimu was there the entire time. Denied. All right. Now going from the front this time. Mono and Pine are already on the far side of the market, so yeah. this is going to be a quick collapse. There they come. Oh, Coco jumped on immediately. Jonak finds yet another pick. I can't, I cannot believe the amount of kills the Zenyatta gets. But Dallas does manage to push back, though. And now, Mecco or Mano, rather, kind of on his own on the payload. Pine trying to help him out. Dallas Fuel pushed back into the building there. Oh, and that's a pretty good pulse bomb effect taken down. Thought it was maybe going to grab a support or two instead. Coco and, over on the Reinhardt this time. And that late kill is crucial because Pine's still in the back right now. Taimu trying to zone him out, but because they have the later pick, the respawns are coming in faster for New York. So yeah. another chance for them. I'm excited to see Coco on the Reinhardt. This is his main. You don't see it a lot, but this guy can get things done on it once in a while in this meta. Riptire coming in though. Taimu, oh, he finds Pine. Okay, so there's one DPS out of the way. They got Mono as well. And so Dallas, for now, holding strong. They stabilize off of that. Dangerous situation for them, but the barrier in the front helps them avoid a lot of that damage. Yeah. And the Riptire getting the kills. So for now, Dallas Fuel holding here. Pine is going to switch Onto the Widowmaker, Libero will stay on the Genji for now. He's nearly got that Dragon Blade. He just has to wait for that Reinhardt shield to go down for just a second, and he can maybe get a pick there. Ooh, taking a little bit of Junkrat damage. Comes over the top. No headshots there. Ooh, and now Effect going after him. So New York trying to push forward here. Pine flank here on the side. They get Harry Hook. Jonak with another pick. Chips forced to use that res, uses the bounce right away. Denies the Dragon Blade, though. Yep, that's right. Libero does go down. Arc brings him back, but no more ultimate for the Genji. Pine taken out by effect. A crucial kill again for the Tracer. Libero striking back on the New York side, though. Harry Hook falls once more, and Mickey kind of on his own. So it was a long hold from Dallas, but it may be ending now. Coco not really getting anything done, unfortunately, with that Reinhardt ultimate, and he's on his own. Yeah, he did stun too, and he got the charge kill onto Jonak, but the New York players are still swarming the payload. Yeah, he needed a lot more there. Coco falls, Taimu does get the kill on the mono, but, and look at this, what a delay from effect, actually. Finally taken up, but he's actually bought Dallas a little bit of time. Now, Taimu's the only one there, has to jump on the payload, stalling for as long as he can, but it's not gonna be enough. Payload will end in point A, three minutes, 20 seconds now, yep. as the New York Excelsior Look to push this one through. Late self-destruct, actually, uh, yeah. for Beko. That was odd. I thought, well, maybe he's going to go swap or something. I don't know why you'd swap up the D.Va, but no, he just uh, might have well, that, that, that one. Yeah. yeah, I think he did, actually. Well, three minutes now for NYXL to push it just in front of the courthouse, so they don't have to take it that far. And now the Dragon Blade coming in from Liver again. Oh, again! Yeah, Taimu! Taimu ready once more with that concussion mind. That Dragon Blade from Libero has been stopped cold twice. And Dallas gonna just jump on New York and finish off everybody else. Taimu has the read. He knows the Dragon Blade is coming after Chips, and he's there to protect him twice yeah. in a row. Comes Pine, getting chased out by Coco now, though. He's got a good angle on the top, but not really too close to that pulse bomb yet. Here's the Fara. In the near future, and yeah, now Libero brings out the Fara. The Genji wasn't working, and there's not a whole lot that Dallas can do against this Fara with what they've got. 
gonna keep on poking away. Trying to push them methodically off this high ground. They can't get too close. That payload is nearly there. Payload Whoa. keeps moving. Libero gonna get hit by a junk rack grenade. A close call there. Oh, there's Taimu another one. Taimu just gets him with a left click. That was some great angles from Taimu, man. Oh, Jonak taken out as well. Dallas getting the kills. Still two minutes remaining for New York, though. And now the double kill from the self-destructed Mecco might be enough for New York to finish this one right here, right now. Pine putting the icing on the victory cake here for NYXL. I think that's going to be it. It's just Coco with the primal rage, and he's not going to be enough. New York right. will win 3-1. to one. They'll take Dorado. They'll take the series. A hard-fought one from Dallas, but New York comes out with the win. It's another one of those series, Doha, where Dallas looks at times so competitive against the league's best, but they can't climb the mountain that is the New York Excelsior. Yeah, they certainly made it look close uh, a few times here. And, and again, you know, handing Pine his first loss on on, a, oh, on anything, really. On any map. It's pretty big on anything, yeah. So Pine's first loss. New York doesn't manage to retake first place. So Dallas, you know, they may have lost, but they've drawn blood, right? They certainly made New York uh, realize their presence. Absolutely. Fortunately, you can still see all those flaws that we've seen this season. Glimpses, glimmers of greatness, but not a way to play the right team comps at the right times. Yeah, well, I'm excited about this team in stage two. I think, uh, I think the break's gonna do them well. I think they've got a lot of good things started, but it's just not quite there yet. But as time goes on, you, you just can't look at this roster and not expect that they're gonna be pretty, pretty big in the future. But right now it's all about New York. A big win for...